welcome or welcome back to Montreal in real life. I'm Montreal and today I'm going to be telling you a story about how my narc, my narky narc, revealed himself to one of his frat friends. So I'm not the only one who's seen his crazy. And the reason I'm talking like this is because... And I haven't been posted for a couple of weeks just because I've been really exhausted. I got a lot of projects going on, work everything I'm blessed so to still be working during this time um but yeah I've just not had the energy to get up and do some videos um today I found the energy put my eyebrows on put a little bit of concealer on and I feel much better however I did just watch a Bailey Sarian video oh uh, I think it was a mistake I love her but it did make me depressed again <laughs> it's one of those serial murder ones so anyways on to talking about the next psychopath um, oh yeah, so that's why I'm doing the accent, yeah, because it makes me happy. Jumping into it. Gotta warm up the face for the video. Tell me if you want me to start linking the products. I use the same thing in every video, so I'll just link it in this one. Anyways, my family comes from a graduation, they meet the narcissist, they don't like him, and I'm kind of thinking, well, if my family doesn't like him, that's pretty much it. I don't really need to kind of continue this. I was already feeling really unsure about him. I mean, have you kept up with the story? <laughs> yeah. I was ready to kind of start my new chapter. I was going abroad. I was like, I don't really need him. Of course, I'm talking to him about this, talking about, like, I'm thinking we ought to just call it quits. And he's telling me, uh, oh, give me one more chance, da 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 da. Hi kitty. <laughs> Do you see her? <laughs> well, he's telling me like, oh, he's got to stay at his house a little bit after graduation because he's going to finish out his lease. And I got to stay a little bit after anyway because I've been a resident advisor. We stay a little bit after, help clean up the university. And he's telling me like, when you're done with that, come over to my house and We'll see what it would be like to live with each other. We'll get a little glimpse into the future. <laughs> a little glimpse in the future. Jesus Christ. I don't know if nose contour works for me. I feel like it actually makes my nose look bigger. Anyways, I don't think I really want to try the relationship any further, but I do say I agree to like moving in with him for a little bit. Um, because I'm thinking like I don't want to go home yet. I don't want to start my job responsibilities yet. I'll take a couple of weeks to stay in college and uh, just, you know, hang out, hang out with my friends, enjoy a little bit of summer. And that was what my goal was. So immediately it's weird. I'm waking up around 3 or 4 a.m. and he's just coming home. I'm like, where have you been? Like, why are you up early? Where, where to go? And he's basically telling me like, oh, he needs to move furniture out of the house because the lease is going to be up and they need to clear out the house. And the first night I seen him do this, I was kind of like, okay, why are you doing it at 4 a.m.? And he just told me like, oh, we need to sus suss out a spot for where we can dump the furniture because they weren't going to take it to a dump or anything. They were just planning on putting it in an alley and so I guess they were going to scope out an alley to put the furniture um I bought that for like the first night but then it kept happening and no furniture was moved in the morning like he would go out tell me he's moving the furniture I'd wake up in the morning all the furniture is still there so obviously he thinks I'm daft because <laughs> no, like you know moving furniture mate like I suspect he was doing drugs yeah the day is going on whatever we're just ha having fun relaxing uh he got another one of his friends staying there on the couch it's nice having her around so i'm just not in the house full of weird boys um then she leaves uh, after a couple of days and then it is just me and the weird boys then that's when after she leaves it's really bless you hear that it's my cat it it really got interesting. Oh, ay, that's pigmented, isn't it? <laughs> All right. After 
that, it starts getting weird. The weird boys start having their weird other friends over. Then I am the only girl in the house, which, like I said earlier on my videos, didn't really bother me because they'd be ignoring me. But it was particularly weird this time because it wasn't like boys from my school that was coming over. It was like random boys that he had met in bars. He was just bringing them to the house. Um, every night it was like a new person and they would <sighs> insert a video. game where grown men race along the ground for a can of beer. Uh, this was played almost every night that I was staying there and <sighs> literally whatever that was like I don't need to know. I don't need an explanation. Just just keep that in the dark circle of hell that it is in. Moving on. One of these nights there's a party hosted at the Kappa Sigma house. Feeling a little bit better about this party because it's gonna be, um, you know, people that I know are gonna be there. Um, so when they get there, it's fine, there's a bonfire, it's lovely, and I go and start chatting with my friend. And we're gonna call this friend John, like John Smith, plain basic. We're gonna keep referring to the narcissist as the narcissist or the narc for short. I go and I chat to my friend, John, and the narc comes over. He's just buzzing, like, I don't know if in the time when I was away uh, talking to John that the narc went somewhere and did something like drugs because he was acting very, very strange. He's like kind of getting in our conversation. Um, he's just like looking back and forth between me and John and me and John getting a little bit stressed we're looking back and forth at each other or like oh I don't know what's going on poor John he's like stoned out of his mind he's brought his little bong with him and he's just completely stoned and he has no idea what's going on the narc starts talking to him insisting that he owes him money uh that John owes the narc money and it just starts getting like more and more intense uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just like being quiet watching this all play out. But secretly in my mind, I'm like, yeah, go off on him so that they can all see that you're crazy. And he does. He just absolutely starts raging. He's like, oh, you can't back out of a deal like that. Da -da -da -da. And like this poor kid, John, he's just standing there with his bong. And he's, he's just looking at me for help. He's just looking at me like, and an orc is like, don't look at her, I'm talking to you, you don't want to have business with me, da -da -da, where's my money, da -da -da -da. I really just don't know actually everything that he was saying, but he was definitely talking about a deal, money, and uh, that he was afraid he's not getting paid, he's just blowing up, he's just losing his mind. You know, like I said, I was kind of secretly like, yeah, like everyone's gonna see like how he is, and um... But at some point, I just had to be like, all right, let, let's go. Like, this is getting out of hand. Um, some other guys that kind of came over, they were like, what's going on? Like, thinking that there's going to be a fight. There's like a little circle forming around us. And I was just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. So some of the other boys, they helped me get him out of the house. Um, he's just fuming. Like, he's got his fist bunched up. And he's just like, Arr. And so I kind of stop him, you know, before I get out of the house because I'm kind of putting the pieces together that maybe he's mistaken John for someone else because John had no idea what was going on. And so I stopped the narc and I'm like, hey, like, what's his name? And the narc was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, the guy who you've just 
screamed at what's his name and he tells me some other name like randy or something and i'm like oh no that was john <laughs> and the look on his face the look on his face is like he realized he had been caught like everybody at the house had just seen him be a complete psychopath to this person who 100 percent didn't deserve it i mean nobody deserves it but like john literally did not deserve it <laughs> And everyone had just seen him do that and the look on his face when I told him now nah, it's not the guy that you're thinking of he literally looks like he got caught round-handed being crazy because he did so he kind of yells back like oh sorry I thought you were someone else and he's like okay let's go and he like quickly like he's like come on let's go like now he's trying to book it because he probably feels embarrassed but we like start walking we're like walking really fast back to his house which is just down the road we didn't need to drive there and I kind of like I'm like slow down slow down a bit like you know just walk with me and i'm like trying to say like are you feeling better like what was that about like why'd you get upset and he literally just stops like right there in the middle of the sidewalk turns to me and he's like nothing happened like you didn't say anything and then continues to walk ahead of me and it was the most bizarre thing ever i mean a lot of bizarre things happen with this guy but it was like that moment again where he kind of had all these emotions and then he just like went blank and he literally was just trying to tell me like what I saw didn't happen like he didn't just go off on this guy he was like nope nothing happened we're not talking about it it didn't happen that's the end of my story I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed my accent uh... <laughs> and don't forget to like subscribe turn on those notification bells so you know when I post because now it's irregular and have a wonderful weekend and happy holidays bye Adam, I look so good today, like, <laughs> lit fellas who?